Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to the channel guys. This is a weekly conversation with your person. This week we're going to focus in on your person's true feelings and desires towards you and your connection. We're also going to do a Zero More Teddy deck week, yes. We're using Tarot Grand Lux with Oracle of Visions and Morik X's uh, Oracle deck. Let's jump in. Let's see whose energy is the strongest for my Sagittarius this week. Y'all know all my readings are meant to bring you confirmations of the things you already intuitively and instinctively know about your person. If it doesn't happen with this reading, you can check out your other sign positions. I also do the extra wild card reading. Check that one out. See if I was able to pick up the energy there. It's for my Sag. Let's see what your person is focused in on. What their true desires are for you in the connection. Ooh. We're going to get two. I can feel them both. Ooh. We've got the key. Oh, I love this one. This one is about truth. Revealing the truth. Trust is the key in circumstances. And your person's got some distractions going on because they really wished they could focus without being distracted. Oh, learning to trust though, uh, bringing in, building that bond of I'm being authentic with you is a factor right now. Mm -hmm. See what else will come out here it's for my Sagittarius person. Sag, Sagittarius, talk to us. Sagittarius, bring it out for us. Ooh, they don't want to let go of me. We're getting two again. We've got left hanging. I'm sorry for leaving you hanging without any explanation and ending. I know endings are painful, but it's best that we move on for now. Best that we move on for now. Ooh, guys. Hold the energy on this one. Hmm. The key is a trust, being being authentic, being someone that is uh, truthful and honest with someone. This person seems to, for some reason, we've got this, this out and uh, they may have left us hanging. Mm -hmm. For whatever reason, whatever it is, circumstances, they, they are, there's way too much... For them going on in their life and circumstances coming at them because this is being overwhelmed uh, with outer noise. The card actually tells us to go into a deep meditation where nothing around us can distract us from what it is that we're needing answers to and needing to find our way on. But yeah, this person has <clears throat> got a lot of distractions and like I said, they may have ghosted for a minute. Mm -hmm. and feel like they need to end it because of what's going on that key card right here not this key this key it that's the real key is they got so much going on around them right now they don't feel like they could uh show up a hundred percent fully in a connection with us <clears throat> let's get them talking sad is we'll pop Ew, they are definitely going through a rite of passage, uh, putting the past behind them, some stormy times, and moving to a new horizon. But it's also will ping me back to this one of your person would actually be saying it's probably best if you did move on because I got so much shit. Ooh, shivers going on. Uh, you really don't need need all that in your you know in your life do you <laughs> you hear me going do you they're curious to know do you would you what else Ooh, communications is challenged right now ace of swords but it's also ace of swords brings us uh, fresh ideas in being able to think clearly some clear thinking this person i'm not sure if i would consider it clear thinking but it's probably responsible and clear enough to them that they need they probably just need to leave you alone and like send be sending you the vibes of just you know, move on you don't need what's going on but they they got clear thinking or they think they do and the sun card truth Reality, trust, healing, uh, being authentic, 
Oh, they got a lot of regrets though, and they do feel disappointed like they're going to be, you know, they're, they're being left behind. But the fact that we got that left hanging, they probably feel like you feel like they just left you behind when it was, you know, circumstances. You know, it's coming out, the energy's coming at me like they had a TKO. <laughs> yeah, a technical knockout. What else? Cancer energy being pulled apart, the battle wagon. Oh, but I'm also feeling the light side because y'all know the battle wagon is about persevering to get a victory. Yes, not giving up. So this person, there's part of them wanting them to be clear, honest, up, for, up front and straight with us. Uh, be realistic with yourself, with their self also. That uh, they need to let you go. They don't need to bring their drama into your life. But at the same time, oh God, they're hoping, praying that you would have a chance. Seven of Wands. Al, Seven of Wands is a card of valor standing up and protecting what's important to you. But it is also the valor of standing up for someone else and protecting someone else. So this person is trying to protect you from their circumstances. We've got Empress showing up. Ooh, bringing life force to something. Y'all know Empress energy is a glow up energy, but it's also a nurturing, um, the mother nurturing, coming in on that protective, wanting to protect you from something. But something's amplifying, coming in abundance for them. She amplifies whatever is around her, brings it in abundance, whether it's something good or bad. Let's see what's being amplified for them right now. What is an empress bringing to you right now in abundance? Bring it to us. Ooh, pop. Taurus energy, needing to focus in on uh, stability, security, stableness. Mm -hmm. Ooh, what else? Now, this person may have, to, there may be children involved. We got a Six of Cups energy going on here. It's card of nostalgia in the past. What else? Challenging communications are very challenged right now, and they're going through a hard time into the unknown. This is so, you know, fear fear-based card, but it's subconscious fears, and being torn between, I've got to be loyal, stable, faithful to something, show up for something, when I really don't want to, I want to get wild and howl at the moon, want to do something different, so communications are strained, and that's being amplified in this person's world right now. Bottom of the deck is the card of patience, investing time and energy, knowing what to invest and nurture into. But it's a card, while you're doing it, guys, it's a card of frustration of, oh my God, is it ever going to happen? Things like that of, um, am I wasting my time? That kind of thing. It is a card of frustrations, exhibiting frustrations, but putting in the patience. And they are definitely working on something. Something. This is teamwork. And it's uh, about blueprint. It's hard working, focused uh, card. Three of Pentacles. And it's heartache. They have to focus in on nurturing something. And like I said, we got the Six of Cups. And that can represent sometimes children or someone that depends on you as a child would so let's pull up all the cards except the first ones that will help keep me tapped into your person's energy mm. let's hold the energy on this deck it's for my sagittarius we need a better shuffle than that for next round mm -hmm. let's pull from the center here that will do. Hold the energy, Sagittarius. Let's get them talking, guys. We'll get the big mama deck out. This is for my Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Let's go with it. Talk to us. Bring it out. Ooh, getting some yellow worms. It was never my intentions to hurt you. Just know. Mm -hmm. I distanced myself because I don't want to be held accountable for your suffering. I don't want you to come into this suffering with me. Because they feel like they are suffering. I'm waiting for a sign. Ooh. 
Oh, fingers work, please. There we go. In time. In time. Waiting for a sign. In time. That in time. In time, I might be able to return. Have a chance with you. That kind of thing. Confirmation for someone. September. Virgo in Libra. Keep talking, Sagittarius person. You can do no wrong in my eyes. You did nothing wrong. You didn't do anything wrong is what I'm hearing. I'm scared of losing what we have together. I feel like I mean, I'm feeling like they already know or they they feel confident they've already lost it with you. I'm at a crossroad when it comes to this connection. I was at a crossroad. The negative thoughts are only making things worse. Anything else? Keep talking. Mm -hmm. Stop talking about your past. Oh, no, 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 no. Hmm. That's echoing through their head. It's not something they're saying to you. They've been triggered on something. Stop talking about your past. It's almost like they're telling themselves. There's a part of them that goes, just drop it. Just drop it. Confirmation for someone, July Cancer in Leo. So we've got September Virgo Libra, July Cancer in Leo. Don't just pay attention to the zodiac signs. Sometimes they're trying to get your attention on the months. I know you deserve better than what I have been giving you or what I'm able to give you. Just a text from you is enough to put a smile on my face. Oh. My heart is broken. My heart is breaking. They're breaking their own heart. Circumstances are breaking their heart. I don't know how to move forward from this situation. Mm -hmm. Fingers work. Dang, guys. Dealing with my insecurities, the negative self-talk is a constant battle for me. Yeah. Stop talking about it. Just drop it. Don't even think it. Don't even wish it. Just... Stop. Stop. Stop talking about it. Stop thinking about it. Ooh. Constantly echoing through your head. You feed my soul in ways no one else can. Ooh, you. Mm, brought some light into my darkness. You have no idea what your love does. Ooh, Sag. I'm worried there is someone else. I'm worried you've already found someone else. A lot better. Last drama and moved on. Confirmation for someone. November Scorpio and Sagittarius. That might be for all of us. We are Sag, aren't we? And we've got another confirmation. How oh, May, Taurus, and Gemini. Wow. Confirmation's a lot going on here. Last shuffle. Anything else? Pop another one. Never doubt my love for you. Never doubt that I had feelings for you. Please don't doubt it. Hold the energy on this deck. Let's go ahead and rotate the message deck so I know what side to pull from. Going next round. Let's go back to the tarot. Ooh, guys. I already know what their true desires are for you and the, the connection that you had. They're really, tr truly hoping... They that some miracle is going to happen, and that you'll wait for them. I hate saying it, wait for me. They want to say, Wait for me, but don't don't wait for me. It's not fair for me to ask you that. But their, their true desire is wait, 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 don't give up on me yet. Ooh, talk to us anything you need to bring out, just bring it out. Truth, ooh, truth. That was the truth. Just, yeah. They're torn. They are so torn. They want you to wait. But at, at the same time, they're like, no, that's not fair to you. Yep, at the crossroad. Um, balancing things. coming. Ha they want to come out of their comfort zone. The Two of Swords has us um, balancing, trying to make a decision between, you know, getting our head and our heart to come into the sink and help us choose a direction to go in but everything you're choosing doesn't feel comfortable and you're like i don't want to have to choose but i know i have to so yeah well, guys they don't like choosing what they're choosing right now because they would really like the 
of being able to step in a connection with you. We got a bunch on the bottom. Judgment card. Hang on, see what's coming with that one. Ooh, three, uh, three. Empress again. Our Empress again coming in. Mother energy. And Cancer energy. Oh, home and hearth. Home and hearth. Having to show up and make hard decisions that they don't want to. That would be their own judgment. That they feeling like, you know, it almost feels like punishment to this person. The obligations, the responsibility of prioritizing the things in their life. But they feel a need to. But they also want, want to connect with us. Hey, let's go and talk on this can, uh, Cancer Queen for a minute. Tell me about the Queen of Hearts. Pop. Compromises, sacrifices. Emperor, Divine Masculine, Aries energy, and it's not fair. Y'all know with the Emperor energy, he rules. Uh, when the em Empress comes out, she amplifies things around her. You can always ask what's being brought in that's abundant in, in circumstances. Uh, and it can be something good or bad. But when he comes out, it's about being structured, organized, protecting, building uh, using your head, making choices for the well-being of all, because he rules over things. But you can also ask when you do a reading, what's the ruling factor? What's the ruling thing that's pressuring somebody to make the decisions and behave the way they're behaving? This person is saying it's not fair. The, to be in a connection with me requires compromises, heavy-duty compromises, and sacrifices. The ruling factor is what's holding me back. It's not fair. Libra justice is not fair to you. It's not fair for me to ask you to wait. Ooh, guys. Sagittarius, guys. Mm. What's on the bottom of the deck? Let's pick it back up. Uncertainty about the future, but enough curiosity there's a part of them that wants you to wait. To wait. They don't want to give up. They are feeling very challenged and yeah, cut down, defeated in in circumstances. And they got a lot of stress and obsessing over it. Obsessive thoughts about uh, what's going on. And they're trying to get clarity. The healing and clarity. Get their mind to quiet down. But you'll see our Gemini Knight up here in, in the dream. That he's having the vision he's having. And that's the challenger. Everything's too challenging. Ooh, guys, let's get them talking again. Hold the energy it's for my side. Just in case we need that deck again. Let's get them to talk a little bit more. It's for my Sagittarius. Talk to us. Pop. Healing. Healing. Going through a healing process. Here I go. I said I would never fall again. Ooh, fall in love and be have these feelings be torn like this again. I need to look into your eyes. Oh, if I could just look into your eyes. I would be lost without you. I'm already lost without you. I put up walls because I'm afraid of rejection. Protective wall or because something about their circumstances. Like I said, the, the main ruling factor is the two, two of cups energy compromises. A whole lot of compromises and sacrifices you'd have to make to be in a connection with me. They put up walls and they're trying to protect also. It, like I said, there may be children involved. What if we fall apart again? What if we were to fall apart? Because they're telling me to take the word again. No, wait, 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 wait. For somebody, it is take take the word again. What if we fall apart? But it's more. But I'm hearing it because it keeps echoing a little bit for me. This person has tried to be in a uh, connection, and like I said, there's someone, children, something, someone that depends on them, like child, like a ch childlike. They've tried before, and it never worked. It never worked. 
and they're, they're, they're on a subconscious level, it's like they're saying, it's because the kids are the most important. I've got to do what's best for them. Uh, things like that. Focus on them. Or, or yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid of what others may say or think. Uh -huh. What else? What else? Anything else? Talk to us. Keep talking. Sagittarius person. I always feel like I'm getting ready to lose you. I'm aren't they're already anticipating they would lose you in the connection. It's more than sex. It was I'm wanting to say it was more than that. We'll be a family to each other. It's almost like a question. And it may be echoing. We'll be a fam it's yeah, there's definitely a little bit of echo. We're picking up a lot of triggered thoughts from them. What else? Anything else? Talk to us. Ooh, yeah. I feel so torn. Mm -hmm. Feel so torn. Yeah. What else? Please be patient with me. Is there anything else? Let's do a last shuffle. Yep. My passion is burning so strong that I can't take it. My feelings and wanting that page of wands energy, the wanting, that passion of that. I have to stand still right now. I can't take action. But God, I want to so bad. Hold the energy on the deck. Let's go ahead and get your person, Sag, to focus in on the deck. They want to give you a final and closing message. Um, this one's, oh, we're getting, oh, this one's becoming popular with the readings. Well, two or three of them. Uh, all things intuitive deck, the hidden truth. Sagittarius person, talk to us, please. Talk to us. Pop. You and I were too young. Too young. Mm, I don't know if they're trying to say we're... They, you and them were too young. The young is popping. Like I said, they got somebody. Mm -hmm. I wish I could share my good news with you. I feel you leaving me behind. I left when I saw you as someone. They may be watching from a distance, guys. We need to let each other go. I need to let you go. I'll wait for a <clears throat> I'll wait for a sign from you. That choked me up, guys. That is, that is that. Still holding on to hope, but it's so unfair to you. But they keep hoping. They do. They keep hoping. I know that I crossed the line with you. I want you. I wish you knew how bad I want you. And last one. I hid who I really am from you. Ooh, I hid my real feelings from you. Sad so that's all I have for us, guys. I'm sending you love and like many, many blessings as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I see you again next time. Bless be.